Hi, this is Yumei. Hi, Rowan. This is Aiden. So we have Recomputer Case with us today. Are we gonna talk about Odyssey? Uh, well, not exactly. You know, the Recomputer Case is not only made for the Odyssey X86 board. It is also compatible with uh, Raspberry Pi 4 or Raspberry Pi 3B or 3B Plus and just a Nano. And it is also compatible with Big Bone. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. So let's open it and see how that, how that looks. Okay, let's do the unboxing. Let's cut the clips. And open the box. Assembly guide. Okay. Recomputer case. And the side panel, screws, and the standoffs. And we've got a screwdriver. We have about eight. Side panels. Okay, that's all the stuffs. Let's open this case. First, we've got a plastic base. Look at all those holes. It's good for the heat. And this is a middle frame. Aluminum middle frame. And we've got uh, acrylic cover. Okay, that's all about the unboxing. So this is all the stuff in the recomputer case package. Why do we have so many sidebars? Um, well, you know, all those boards are compatible with this case, and oh, each board have a different interface. So we have we made all those side panel um, for each board. You know this is just a nano. So we can and the Raspberry Pi three and big one black, Raspberry Pi four and big one green. And these panels are for the another side. And a lot of customers give us feedback. And they would like us to do a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to uh, assemble all those boards into this case. So today we will uh, show you how to um, put these SPCs into this case. Which one do we start? Uh, we will use Raspberry Pi 4. Raspberry Pi 4. Okay. First, we need to um, follow this uh, assembly guide. Um, there are three boxes, and the blue box is for just nano, and the green box is for big bone, and the red box is for Raspberry Pi. So we just need to locate uh, the four screw holes, and we can use these standoffs. We have two kind of standoffs. This one is M.5, uh, 20 millimeters, and this one is M.5, uh, 12 millimeters. Why do we need two kinds of standoffs? Well, that, that is because um, for the most um, SPCs, this 12 millimeters standoff will be enough, but for some 
uh, special species like this um, big bone black. There is a micro USB port at the bottom of this board. So if you use uh, the 12 millimeters standoff, it will interface with this port will interface with the um, baseboard with the base. Okay. Okay, we we will use Raspberry Pi 4. So we just need to locate the red box, which is this hole. Just turn this stand off to tighten. And this hole. We need to tighten these four standoffs at the four corners. And then we can put the Raspberry Pi 4 board on top on top of these standoffs. Mm. Use the screwdriver to tighten the, the screw. Next, we need to um, insert the side panel into this middle frame. Raspberry Pi 4 side panel. Oh, we got Raspberry Pi 4. And there are two holes. This one is bigger and this one is smaller. We, we just need to insert this panel into the big one. And just tear off these films. And uh, the other side, we insert the comma side panel, like this. Okay, and just put this frame, middle frame, under the box, under the face. Okay, then we need to use the screw and screwdriver Let's tighten the screw okay look at this sand panel it's fit for the Raspberry Pi 4 perfectly. And right we here. need to plug the power cable just through this hole and plug it to Raspberry Pi 4. And we do not have the uh, uh, mini HDMI cable, so we will not. Um, plug this mini HDMI cable in and the last step we just need to um, put on the cover and we have four magnet at the corner of this middle frame we also have four magnets over the cover just put this on okay that's all Recently, we have a lot of customers reported that there's something wrong with the serial port of our um, Siduino cell and wild terminal. How do we solve that problem? Uh, well, for the Siduino cell, we have uh, added this solution into our wiki. Uh, as you can see here, uh, just need to reset the Siduino cell. We just need to use two jumper um, to enter the bootloader mode and you can reset it quickly and the serial port will uh, be normal again and but in fact this is not our product issue it's uh, because of we use uh, SMD21 and uh, SMD51 chip uh, this let's look at Adafruit 
they also have the same problem with the filler cells, M MO cells. As the ADA says, because the UNO type do not have a separate cells port chip, but the MO and uh, uh, 32 based Arduino do not have a separate chip. So we need to enter the bootloader manually. Well, that's that's the solution and the reason. All right, that's everything for today. Thank you. See you Bye. next week. See you next week.